Welcome to my video. Today we are going to learn how to make a bag bag. You may wonder what a bag bag is. Well everybody gets the plastic shopping bags that they get when they go grocery shopping and you need a place to store them all. So what you're going to do is store them in the top. We have an elasticated bottom and then we also have a drawstring top and something to hang it up. So I hope you enjoy the lesson. This is great for using up scrap yarn, can be used in any thickness of yarn. I have made mine in a double crochet stitch but you could also use the single crochet and also a half double crochet. So let's get started on the lesson. For this project you're going to need yarn of your choice. I'm using 8 ply which is equivalent to double knit or sports weight. I'm also using a hook that's recommended for that. You can use any yarn and hook you like. Worsted weight, just make sure you use the hook that's recommended. You're going to need a sewing needle with a large eye and also some elastic. I think this one is called hat elastic. It's not very th um, thick as you can see by the thickness of that. We're going to use this to go around the bottom edge of our bag bag. You're also going to need a sharp pair of scissors. First of all we're going to make a chain that is about 30 centimeters or 12 inches long. You can make this a different size because this is going to be the opening of your bag bag. So once we join it together, our chain, this is going to be the top where the opening is where you put your bags in. So it's completely up to you. You can make it bigger or you can make it smaller. So what we want to do now is we want to join this chain without twisting the chain. So what we're going to do, you're going to look at the, the front of the chain which is the flat side and you're going to keep it so the flat side is facing you making sure you take any twists that are in it and then what we're going to do is join it and we're going to go into the back of the chain so that the flat side is away from us and hopefully when we look at it all the chains are facing the same direction so you're going in the back side but then we're going to be working into the normal part of the chain so you're going to join this with a slip stitch you're going to chain up three and you can use a single crochet, a half double crochet or a double crochet for this project completely up to you or you can mix them up as well on each row so if you were going to do a single you'd do one chain a double crochet you'd do two sorry a half double crochet you'd do two and a double crochet you would do three so just spin it around so you're looking at the front of the chain that's the flat side of the chain you're going to work a double crochet in each stitch around Now this video, if you've watched a few of my videos, this is actually at a different angle. I've got my camera a lot higher on the tripod. So let's see if it makes any difference at all. So we're just doing one double crochet in each chain around. And you continue until you get back to the beginning. So when you come back around, if you have twisted your chain, when you look at your thing like this, your chain's going to be all twisted. But you can get around that just by going into the chain. Then when you get to like the last one or two, 
because I think mine's actually twisted, but this project is not really going to matter because this part actually gets gathered in. So when we get to the top, the, well, at the end of the row, just twist it. So if this was like that, and see it's twisted down here, there's a twist, untwist it so it's all facing the same way, and then continue on. If you change twisted this project it will not matter because it's getting gathered at the top and also at the bottom as well. Okay, so I need that to be like that. So my chain's actually twisted but I'm just going into the chain. Put down there. And if it looks funny here, if you wait till the end, you could just add a row of crocheting around it just to neaten it up as well. But like I said, you're not going to notice because this gets gathered up. So we want to chain a uh, slip stitch into the third chain. So one, two, three. and then make a slip stitch and we want to chain up three and then double crochet all the way around and then slip stitch to join like we just did and chain three and you're going to repeat that until your bag bag is long enough now I'm going to make mine about 50 centimeters long and I will meet up with you when I have my bag ready you can go through both loops so you can go under both loops like so or you can go into the back loop only or you go into the front loop only with this one you can experiment with all your stitches so I'll meet up with you when we've completed the length of our bag so here we go I have mine at about 50 centimeters long now we need to add the elastic and the hanging chain to each end. So grabbing the elastic that we have for our bag bag, we're going to thread it into one of the ends. If you can't thread it through your needle, because sometimes the needle isn't big enough on the end and also the elastic's pretty thick, you could use a crochet hook to do the same thing. Now I'm going to turn it inside out just so we can thread our elastic into the back of the work. I'm not going to weave it in and out like that because we're going to see the black elastic at the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick up, let me just zoom in a bit, I'm just going to pick up the front loops so that there's still a, so the front loops when we're looking at it, it's actually the back loops. But then make sure we've got some loops at the front and this should hopefully disguise the elastic a little bit. So I've just started anywhere. And I'm just picking up those back loops only. And I'm going to thread it until we've got all the way around. So I've got mine threaded through there. And I'm going to pull my elastic tight so that kind of gathers up so you don't want the hole too big otherwise your bags are going to fall out the bottom but you want it big enough so you can just put your hands in to grab out your bag and don't forget the elastic will stretch so you can stretch it out if you need to so my I mean I've got quite small hands but I can get my hand in there to grab a bag so I'm thinking that's about the right length to say width to get my hand in. So I'm just leaving about an inch. Then I'm going to tie off my elastic. I'm 
make sure you get a good knot so that it doesn't come undone. And then just hide away your ends. Now we just want to make the chain that goes around the top to hang it up. Oh, I've got this wrong hook hanging. So you're basically just going to make a chain until you have your hanging piece long enough. I just have a scrap piece here. I think the yarn's about two meters long, which is approximately two yards. Or I've got no idea how many feet that is. It's probably about six foot of yarn that I'll just have left over. So I'm just going to make chains until that's finished, and then I'm going to thread that through the top of my bag. So I'm just going to make the chain, and we'll get back after we've done that. So I finished my chaining and then I've just threaded the end and I'm going to weave this in and out between the stitches. So going in and then around the back and I'm going to do this all the way around the top. So there we go I have threaded mine through and I'm just going to tie a knot in the end and I'm going to sew my ends in after and that's our bag done so when it's hanging up it is going to go tight like that with the weight that's in it and then your bag has come out the bottom of the elastic so thank you for watching my video I hope you enjoyed it great project for using up scraps join our Facebook page if you haven't already it's a great place over there over 6,000 people over there so if you ever get stuck on anything it is a great place to ask for help like I said, thank you for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, happy crochet.